Hi, I'm Hank with Mountain Wind Trading and I'm here to show you some of our products that we carry. This here is our brand new all-in-one three-phase charge controller. This will handle 440 amps and 10,000 watts and is wind and solar capable. Okay, the charge controller consists of our processor right here. The light flashing green one time slowly means that the batteries are full. If it's blinking more often, the battery's a little low, but it will charge up. And then you push this button here, you can put it in divert mode. And right there, it'll take and divert any excess energy you have into the heat resistors. That way you can burn off any others. That'll keep your batteries in a good float state where they want to be. Comes with the relay switch, which handles wind and solar together. So you can connect from your solar panel. Your positive and negatives will come down. You will connect in here. So you can hook up your solar panels to it. And then you also take them right down into the battery for charging. The uh, controller works off of the, the solar panels will run down, come from the positive and negative leads, come down into the relay, and hook up here. The controller comes pre-wired with the two cables that go directly to your battery studs so you can connect right to them. That's as easy it is for hooking up. It comes also with a rectifier for our three-phase turbine so that you can connect directly off of the brake switch here, which allows you to stop it or to have it producing power depending on if you need to do any maintenance or anything to it. You can also have uh, optional meters on there to read out what they're producing. And you can hook up several turbines. This switch handles up to 50 amps for the turbine. So depending on what the output for the amperage is will depend on the load that you can put through the turbine, but this will handle multiple turbines up to 50 amps. The rectifier that we use here is a 70 amp rectifier, so we'll carry that load from that also. And then we have several meters and other items that you can put in with this also. This is a voltmeter and an amp meter that you connect to the system so you can see what your put out is for all your systems coming through it. So all you do is hook that in line and you'll be reading what you got producing there. And then, as need be, if you add more turbines and you're exceeding your limit on the switch, all you need to do is put another one in line here with the rectifier. You can add more as you go. And the same thing for the resistors on the controller. For each one, just add more resistors and just hook them in parallel, and you'll have a system that's capable of handling that. All right, I want to show you what our harness looks like for our PMAs coming off of our turbines. They come off the turbines three phase. So we have the harness already hooked up into the PMA. All you have to do is plug this in. You have the butt connectors here that you have clamped down and heat shrink so they're weather protected. So you hook that up into your turbine. Then you would take your three wires, your black, green, and white here, and you would connect them into your switch. All you need to do is hook one wire to each of the wires here. It doesn't matter which way they go. You just hook one to each one and you have your system set up and ready to go. This charge controller comes in 12 or 24 volt setup, and if you've unfortunately had one that's cooked that's of a lesser quality, maybe an import from China or something, this one here is made in America by Americans, will handle what is out there for you. So any questions or anything, and thank you for looking at the video. My name is Hank with Mountain Wind Trading. I'm sorry, this is Hank out of Mountain Wind and Trading. I forgot to mention, when you uh, have your power ready to go for your batteries, you need somewhere to put it through so that you can use it. We use Ames Inverters, made by Ames Corporation, so that we can make sure we've got a good quality item. You can get them in modified and pure sine wave for what you need. Thanks again.